Welcome to Willow's World of DIY. I'm Willow and today I'm going to show you how to custom powder coat stainless steel tumblers. Let's get to it. We're going to start by wiping the cups down with some 99% alcohol and then we're going to use a microfiber cloth to wipe off any of the fuzzies. Now that the cups are clean we can go ahead and install our decals. Once we get all the decals installed, we can start making our stand for it. I coil up a piece of copper wire for a grounding. I insert two Coke cans, and then I use high temperature masking tape to mask off all the open area, and then trim it with an X-Acto knife. Now we can start shooting some powder. The powder is electrostatically charged as it passes through the gun. As long as your piece is grounded properly, the powder should wrap around it and adhere to it. You want to spin it around and shoot it from all sides. That way you get a nice even coat all the way around it. One of the nice things about powder coating is it's really easy to clean up. All you gotta do is vacuum it up. If you're changing colors, you wanna make sure that you clean out the gun really, really well so that there's no uh, leftover powders inside the gun at all because that will contaminate your powders and you also wanna make sure you clean out your booth really well because any uh, dusting off the booth will contaminate your powders. I taught Katie how to powder coat during the filming of this video. I think she's doing great for her first time. And I hope she sticks with it. I can't wait to see what she creates on her own. Now we can place the powder coated cup in an oven preheated to 400 degrees for 30 minutes. After it's done cooking, you can remove all the decals. After all the decals were removed, use some Goo Gone to remove any leftover adhesive. And then wipe them down with alcohol to remove any oils from handling them before we shoot our clear coat. Now we can place the clear coated cup back in the oven at 400 degrees for 30 minutes.
hope you all enjoyed powder coating with Katie and I. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching Willow's World of DIY. Until next time.